In 1613, Russia experienced a period of political turmoil known as the Time of Troubles, following the death of the last Tsar from the Rurik dynasty. The country was trapped in civil war, rebellions, and riots. This situation created the need for stable governance. Mikhail Romanov, a Russian nobleman who was 16 years old at the time, was elected as Tsar by the Assembly of the Land of Russia in 1613. Mikhail Romanov's election marked the establishment of the Romanov dynasty, which would rule Russia for over three centuries to come. The early reign of the Romanov dynasty was marked by significant challenges. The country was plagued by war, bankruptcy, and external pressures. However, the early governance of Mikhail Romanov and his successors, such as Alexei I and Fyodor III, managed to restore political stability and revive the Russian economy. Later, in the 18th century, the reigns of Peter the Great (1682–1725) and Catherine the Great (1762–1796) brought significant changes to Russia. Peter the Great implemented extensive reforms to modernize the country and strengthen the Russian military. He opened Russia to Western influences and adopted modernization policies in various fields, including the military, administration, and culture. Catherine the Great who was one of the most influential rulers in Russian history, continued the modernization efforts initiated by her predecessors. She expanded the territories of Russia, implemented legal reforms, promoted education, and supported the development of arts and culture. The reign of Catherine the Great also marked a prosperous period for Russia with its strong influence in Europe. Although the Romanov dynasty experienced periods of prosperity, the family also faced serious social and political challenges. They had to confront peasant uprisings, ethnic tensions, and rapid social changes emerging in Russia in the late 19th century. In a series of events leading to the Russian Revolution in 1917, Tsar Nicholas II, the last ruler of the Romanov dynasty, was dethroned, and his family faced a tragic fate. The early reign of the Romanov dynasty reflects Russia's journey from political chaos to stability, while the period of prosperity under the rule of Peter the Great and Catherine the Great marked significant moments in Russian history. In 1894, Nicholas II ascended the throne as the Tsar of Russia after the death of his father, Alexander III. Tsar Nicholas II and his wife, Tsarina Alexandra Romanov, had five children, Anastasia, Olga, Tatiana, Maria, and a son, Alexei. They were a wealthy and powerful royal family, living in the splendor of the palace. However, his reign did not go smoothly and was marked by various challenges and political instability. Nicholas II was an inexperienced ruler who tended to be authoritarian. He held strong beliefs in the concept of absolute monarchy and maintained extensive power in the hands of the Romanov family. One of the major challenges faced by Nicholas II was the widespread poverty among the Russian population. The significant economic disparity between the ruling class and the common people triggered growing dissatisfaction and social tension. The people bore the heavy burden of poor economic conditions, high unemployment rates, and dire working conditions. Additionally, Nicholas II and Tsarina Alexandra also faced personal difficulties with the health condition of their son, Alexei. Alexei suffered from hemophilia, a genetic disorder that caused blood clotting problems. This condition deeply worried the Romanov family and caused profound anxiety and sorrow. Social dissatisfaction and political tension increased during Nicholas II's reign. In 1905, the 1905 revolution occurred, forcing Nicholas II to grant some political reforms and acknowledge certain civil rights for the people. However, the reform measures taken were not sufficient to satisfy the demands, and dissatisfaction persisted. In 1914, Russia became involved in World War I. The war imposed a heavy burden on the country and its people, and the poor performance in battles worsened the situation. Dissatisfaction with the government and demands for reform grew, and in 1917, the February Revolution erupted, eventually overthrowing Tsar Nicholas II's rule. Nicholas II and his family were subsequently held by the interim government and eventually executed by Bolshevik forces in 1918. This tragedy marked the end of the Romanov dynasty's rule and the end of the Tsar's power in Russia.
In October 1917, the Bolsheviks, under the leadership of Vladimir Lenin, successfully seized power in Russia during the October Revolution. After the takeover, the Romanov family was detained by the new Bolshevik government. Initially, the Romanovs were held in Tobolsh, a small town in Siberia. They lived in strict exile, with limited movement and tight surveillance. However, the family still led a relatively comfortable life with household services and access to activities such as playing music, reading, and painting. However, in 1918, the situation drastically changed. The Bolshevik government grew concerned that counter-revolutionary forces loyal to the Romanovs could free them, and the escalating civil war added to the tension. As a result, the Romanov family was moved to Yekaterinburg, a city in central Russia, and placed under stricter confinement. In Yekaterinburg, the Romanovs were held at the Ipotiv House, a building later known as the House of Ipotiv, or the Last House of the Romanovs. The surveillance on them intensified, and the conditions became increasingly tense. They resided in cramped quarters and faced difficult living conditions. In July 1918, the decision to execute the Romanov family was made by the Bolsheviks. On the night of July 16, 1918, the Romanov family and several of their staff members, namely Drive, Eugene Botkin, Ivan Haratonov, Alexandra Demidova, and their former servant, Alexei Truk, were moved to the basement room of the Ipotiv house. There, they were executed by Bolshevik forces. The execution was carried out by gunfire. Tsar Nicholas II, Tsarina Alexandra, and their children, namely Olga, Tatiana, Maria, Anastasia, and Alexei, all fell victim to the killings. The execution of the Romanov family marked a tragic end to the Romanov dynasty, which had ruled Russia for over 300 years. This event brought about the downfall of the Tsar's power in Russia and marked the beginning of a new Soviet era in the country. After the execution of the Romanov family in July 1918, their bodies were buried in a secret location by the perpetrators of the killings. The perpetrators tried to hide the traces and identities of the Romanov family's remains, deliberately choosing a burial site that would be difficult to find. However, over time, the whereabouts of the Romanov family's bodies became a mystery, leading to various conspiracy theories and speculations. Initially, the Soviet government did not officially acknowledge the execution and spread false information about the fate of the Romanov family. This fueled speculation and rumors about the survival of one or several members of the Romanov family. In 1991, after the collapse of the Soviet Union, an official investigation was initiated to search for the remains of the Romanov family and uncover the truth about their fate. A team of Russian forensic experts led by Dr. Alexander Avdonin conducted an intensive search. Based on information and clues gathered from various sources, including living eyewitnesses and historical documents, the team focused their search around Yekaterinburg. In July 1991, buried human remains were discovered near Yekaterinburg, at a location later known as the 14 location. Over the next few years, forensic investigations were carried out to positively identify the remains. In 1998, after forensic analysis and DNA tests, the authenticity of the remains was finally confirmed. The bodies of Tsar Nicholas II, Tsarina Alexandra, and their children, Olga, Tatiana, Maria, Anastasia, and Alexei, had all been found and identified. The search for the Romanov family's remains and their discovery marked a significant turning point in uncovering the truth and ending long-standing speculation about their fate. It provided certainty about the tragic fate of the Romanov family and closed a dark chapter in their history. Their remains were later reinterred in a dignified funeral ceremony at the Peter and Paul Cathedral in St. Petersburg, Russia, in 1998. In the overall discussion above, we have explored the dark history of the Romanov family and the events surrounding it, such as the reign of Tsar Nicholas II, the Russian Revolution, the execution of the Romanov family, and the discovery of their bodies. This story reflects the political, social, and personal complexities that influenced the fate of this royal family. An era came to an end with the fall of the Romanovs, profoundly changing the course of Russian history. While tragedy and mystery surround their lives, their story also serves as a symbol of profound change and social upheaval. In our collective memory, the Romanov family will continue to be an important part of the historical narrative that speaks of power, revolution, and human resilience in the face of world-shaking transformations.